Hey everyone. So I noticed a lot of people try to run uh, imperative code when using Cypress. And I think it's just because they are used to this kind of code and they're making their lives harder. For example, in this example, the user is asking, how do I go through the list of elements, grab the text from each element, and then see if the text matches what I'm searching for. And if it finds it, then it returns the number of a row or element where the text was found. And, and it's all fine, but think about what you're trying to do. You're trying to find an element from a list of elements with giving text and then return or yield its index. So here's how you can do it. So I have a list of fruits and let's say I want to find the fruit with text pair. Okay, so we'll use contains command which can take a selector, which I like because I want to make sure I don't find pair accidentally somewhere else on the page. So right now I'm saying among all elements inside the element with ID fruits, um, with type li, find the element with text pair. Immediately it finds me a single pair. And now I want to know its index. So I contains, I get some find the yield jQuery objects jQuery has a method called index, so I can invoke it. Now, what does it give me? Let's log it into the command log. Notice it logs two. So what is two? Well, si press gives you a jQuery, jQuery index gives you an index of an element in its jQuery object or among its siblings. So the siblings would be ally elements and the index starts with zero. So zero, one, two. So that's exactly the element that we found as the index. So we can confirm that the index should equal to two. And if you want to use it, you yield it and then you use it. So a lot of times you just want to think and declare what you're trying to do rather than write an imperative code. 